hey guys welcome back to my channel it's mr bob ben or malika and welcome back to yet another yarn haul video my phone just fell so as you can tell from the title i am going to be showing you guys mohair and merino yarn so this is the first time i myself have purchased mohair but my sisters have before so i've like i've seen it before but I haven't actually like crocheted with it. So either way, this is still new to me. So I'm excited. I just got my package today. So I'm gonna open it now. So this is the package it came in. This is how it looks. And I ordered 15 of one color and like two of another and 15 of another. I'm just gonna open it and show you guys how it looks. So this is how it looks. Okay, I'm gonna take some out. Oh God, these colors are so pretty. Okay, so actually I got three. So I got three, I don't, where are the colors? I don't, I don't know. Oh, okay, here it is. So I got three of the off-white and this is mohair. It's 70% mohair and 30% silk. So I got three of these colors. So I'll put that down over here. And then I got 15 of this dusty artichoke let me show you guys how it looks like oh god this is so beautiful like do you guys see this it's such a pretty like greenish kind of color oh i love it i love oh it's so beautiful and this is how small the yarn is it's fingering weight so of course it's gonna be like tiny and I actually have to use like a 3.5 with this. And normally I use four millimeter hooks, but I think I have the 3.5 in here. Hopefully, yes, I do. So I will be using this 3.5 millimeter hook to crochet with this mohair. So I still have merino wool to show you guys, but oh, I didn't even show you guys the white one. So this is how the white one looks. If you guys can see that but oh these colors are so pretty like are you kidding me okay so I'm gonna show you guys the rest of the colors so I'm pretty sure I got 15 of these the my hair of the dusty artichoke so that's that like look at all this look at all this look at all this look at all this okay now i got merino wool and in dusty artichoke as well so i'm gonna combine these two colors together okay okay let me start from the beginning so i'm going to be recreating something from a show a movie that i've seen i'm not going to show you guys because i'm going to wait for like the video itself so you guys can see that but i'm gonna be recreating an outfit it's a three piece so i'm gonna be creating recreating a cardigan tank top and skirt so it'll be the first time i'll make a skirt ever and that's gonna be very interesting so for the cardigan and the skirt it's a it's like this kind of color like literally this color is so perfect so it's this kind of color and then for the tank top it's white so I'm going to combine for the cardigan and skirt of course I'm going to combine mohair and merino wool these two colors and then for the skirt I mean for the tank top I'm gonna combine these two colors for the tank top since it's white but anyway so I have never used mohair before so this is gonna be so interesting to like make because I'm so used to using a four millimeter hook so this I know this three millimeter is gonna 3.5 millimeter is going to be very very interesting so let me oh let me show you guys how the merino wool looks this is also fingering no I think the mohair is lace weight if I'm not mistaken and this is fingering weight so that's how this merino wool looks and it's in dusty artichoke as well and it's 250 meters and 50 grams 
It's 100% extra fine, merino, traceable, non, okay, all that extra stuff. And yeah, and the recommended size is like, well, really this yarn is for knitter, so it says it's a three millimeter for a needle. I don't even know what that means in knitting, you know, in the knitting world, but I know that I'll be using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. So I think that's all the yarn I got. Yeah, so that's all the yarn. So literally I have like 15 of the dusty artichoke, the merino wool, and then I have 15 of the mohair. Mohair. So I'm going to swatch this for you guys. I'm going to swatch these two colors together and then I'm gonna swatch these two colors. So these two and these two are the ones I'm gonna swatch so you guys can see how it looks and so I can see how I'm, you know, how I feel with it because I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel using a 3.5 millimeter hook. So I'm gonna show you guys that. I'm gonna go with this color and the off-white first. So let's try that. Let me find my hook. Oh, okay, hold on, before that, my sister got me a yarn holder and it's the double one so let me show you guys that i've had this for like weeks now but i've never opened it so i thought it would be perfect to open it during this video since i'm actually going to be using it so let me show you guys that okay Woo! finally so let me take that out is it the other way? Does it even matter? Okay. Oh, no, it goes like this, right? Yes, it goes like this. Okay, so I screw it in like that, and then, oh, okay, so I put it like that. Okay, so it's like this. So I screw this part on. And then I just place it right in here like this. And then that's how it is. Ta-da! So I'm going to use this for my swatch. And all you do is just place the, the yarn right on top of it like this. And then, boom. So convenient. So did I say I was trying to wipe first? I forgot I don't see a white near me so I don't think I, I don't know so I'm just gonna try the two dusty artichokes together mohair and merino wool and see how it turns out I have to find the middle okay here it goes okay so let's try these two so I'm going to use my 3.5 millimeter hook Miller meter hook in try this out oh gosh these colors are so beautiful okay Okay guys, so I finished the swatch and let me show you guys how it looks. So this is so pretty. Can you see this? Like, um, yes, I think yes. This is so pretty. Okay, so my thoughts. One, this is so tiny and I'm so not used to it because I'm used to using cotton yarn, which is a little thicker. A little thicker? No, it's worsted weight, so it, it's a thick, nice, you know, weighted yarn. So using lace weight and fingering weight, it is so different, but I would say chaining, you know, making the chain would be like where it's like, geez, this is like such small yarn. But when I finished the chain and started half double crocheting, that's when it got super easy. So 
I'm getting all this stuff on me but so I actually like it I thought I wouldn't really like care for it because it's it's so small so I feel like it would take maybe a little longer to crochet with but honestly it, it doesn't take long at all and then it's so pretty I can see the mohair highlight in it and that's such a nice like accent for with this you know this whole look and I am going to love recreating this. I, it's so weird. Like this is such, it's so small. So it's going to be weird making like a huge project out of this thin yarn. But it literally thickens up to me. Like this isn't ultra tiny. It just seems and it feels so thin. But when you work with it, it actually feels really good. But if you're used to like acrylic and stuff, I feel like the transition from acrylic to mohair and merino wool would probably be a little like challenging at first because you're so used to like a big hook and a thicker yarn. But honestly, it's not even that bad because I was like, I'm not using mohair and merino wool because that is like the tiniest of the tiniest. I, I think the I was just going to stick with alpaca and Peruvian Highland wool, which is still fingering weight. But that's a thicker type of fingering weight than merino wool is. So I was like, I'm just going to stick with that. But then I was like, but I love how merino wool and mohair comes out. Like it's so neat and like fancy. Like, like I love it. So I, I'm definitely excited to work on my project with this yarn. And I love, love, love the color, the Dusty Artichoke color. So now I'm going to do a swatch with my merino wool and the off-white. I just keep getting these fuzzies on me. And an off-white mohair. So I can show you guys that swatch as well. And then I'll compare the two at the end so you guys can see if the mohair gives it an accent, a better accent or a... Uh, you know, it gives it an accent as well. So let's just see. I'm going to put the swatch aside. Grab my double yarn holder. Take away this beautiful baby. And add the white. And I only got three whites because I don't... It's a small tank top, so I don't really need a lot of yarn for the tank top. So that's why I only got a little bit and yeah so i'm so excited i literally don't know how it's gonna look Okay guys, so I finished the swatch and this is how it looks. You can literally really really see those white accents, the white mohair on it, which is so freaking cool. I didn't know whether like you'll be able to see it. And honestly, I don't even know why I I didn't buy like white merino to go with the white mohair, but it doesn't matter. Like I know the tank top I'm going to be recreating is white, but the fun part about recreating is that it doesn't have to be exactly what, you know, whatever you're recreating is. So it doesn't matter. You can literally clearly see the white mohair in the green. And I love this combination. It turned out so like it made it so pretty. So the left one is just with the regular artichoke mohair and the artichoke merino wool. And then the right one is with the white mohair and dusty artichoke merino wool and oh my gosh these two are so pretty and i'm literally so excited i'm so excited to make this project because i i wasn't really excited at first only because i didn't want to use like this thin yarn i wanted to make something i wanted to 
recreate my project with something with a thicker yarn but i was kind of running out of time trying to figure out what yarn i want to use so i was just like okay let me just get merino wool and mohair and just work with that and after i work with that i'll see whether i want to use it again but already doing these swatches i know that i'm gonna gonna want to use it again so i'm really really excited to work on these projects and i'm excited to show my sisters this because i know they're gonna go crazy so i'll link down below where i got my yarn i got it from knitting for olive but i'll i'll link it below like i said so you guys can purchase some if you guys want to get your own so thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed it be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i what post another video and i'll see you guys in my next one um bye